awesome. And today we are playing Minecraft Story Mode. We've never played this before, so this is our first time playing it. So let's get right into it. So it's a very, very popular game. And many people play it. Many, pop many popular YouTubers do, so. I thought I'd play it, and I actually got this on Christmas, and I never played it, so. I'm kind of sitting here, I'm like, hmm, I should make a Minecraft Story Mode video, so I am right now. And last time I attempted to make one, and it very, it lagged a lot. But I had to download an update to like five minutes, but. So we're done. And I don't know how long this is going to be, but. Might be like ten minutes long. Well, including the um, intro and outro, but so let's let this load. Okay, uh, here we go. Log in, click for tell me what kind of fix you have for special features. Tell me. No, not now. Okay. Use your appearance to see what I want to look like. Oh, I like this guy. Okay. So I guess it's starting now and it's loading. It looks like it's not lagging as it was before. Hopefully the game doesn't fully lag. Start episode one. That was a very fun game. Well, some people think it's very boring and it has no purpose, but I I used to think that. Now no, I'm just gonna play and see how I, how it goes. Looks pretty fun. Okay, so let this load. So much loading in this game. Oh. Game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, okay. more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the far lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures on a bridge self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have so long ago four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword <coughs> all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines oh. would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would do so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. I think he's the main guy. Okay. That's pretty cool. I don't know if they actually make this in real Minecraft and then they just kind of make it to look like animation or <clears throat> they actually just make it all themselves. I think that's really cool. This game. Like all the animations. Uh, yeah, let's just get into this. Uh, there we go. But when one story ends, another one begins. Whoa. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be yeah. clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. That's easy. I'll take the uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred so of them. 
crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, I'm like me, it's like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I get this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Haven here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? The question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. People He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the guy with the pig. You mean talk about the guy with the pig. Like, look at the weird guy with the weird pig. How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's what we okay. do. Okay. Oh, okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> all right. Fine. Did you hear that? something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build. All right, all right. I said it looks awesome. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shears definitely taking these. Never know what I... Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. Really should change the name. I got this okay, stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. So cute, Reuben. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. Well, that's a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. 
Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Endicon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior and Freak himself. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to me. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You got. Oh. Glad you do. Oops. Guys are my only <laughs> friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. All right. To good. win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. The point of the building comes. Isn't just to build something. We have to do something. Okay, then. Okay. We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build an Enderman. Uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Uh, yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose and not bring it in. Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. Prepare. Okay, guys. So, uh, I think we're gonna end the game here. But let's just. I was gonna Okay, guys, so I think we're going to end the game here. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Woo!